up guys, I'm Keith with KL Imports and today we're doing a vacuum on the AC system. Okay, you're gonna need an AC gauge and a vacuum pump to do this vacuum job. This vacuum pump I got at Harbor Freight for about 50 bucks. And this AC gauge, I got at AC store, supply store, about 250 bucks. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive, but um, I'm gonna be using this gauge a lot and working on cars a lot, so it's gonna be worth my money. What you see here is um, a low line, a high line, and a suction line. On the low line, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up to the low side. On the high line, we're gonna hook it up to the high side. And on the suction line, we're gonna put it to the vacuum pump. First thing you do is um, turn on your pump. Once the pump is on, you open your valve on the low side and the high side you notice the vacuum is vacuum because from zero it went down to 30 down this way to the right and zero so right now we're gonna let it vacuum for about two hours Okay, it's been about two hours. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn off the valve on the low side. And then we're gonna turn off the valve on the high side. Then we're gonna turn off the vacuum pump. Now we check our gauge. Now that you see the gauge needle is at 30, and then this high side right here is way past below zero. We're gonna let it sit for about two hours to make sure that we have no leak in our system. So let's give it about two hours. Two hours have passed. We're still here in the same point. So that means we are good. I'm ready to pump my refrigerant. If this needle go back to zero, either side, which it should, then that means we have a leak in our AC system and we gotta get that fixed watching my video please consider subscribing to my channel click the like button the alert button to get the notification on